So now if you're Illinois, you're at the very least keeping pace with Indiana, but time is running out to do that. Seven and a half left, and it's a 15 point game. They need a stop on the defensive side. Grace Berger's the one now playing inside. Now Mackenzie Holmes. Pass too hot for Berger there. And Illinois looking to convert, looking to get it closer. Holmes responds to Genesis Bryant off the screen. Good defense there. Bryant, now the kick out. McKenzie in the corner for three. Doesn't get the roll, and McKenzie Holmes gets the rebound. Oh, that would have been a huge shot for the Illini if it went in. More McNeil too strong. Good body up there by Shoup Hill. Now Illinois starting to get some chances. Can they convert? Genesis Bryant too far off. Bostic in the right place at the right time. All right, well, there's another two-point basket, only a 13-point game. The Illini need another stop here. It's all about racking them up, getting them consecutively. Grace Berger smartly killing some time here, slowing down the pace ever so surely. Going inside, Mackenzie Holmes, she doesn't get the roll. And now here comes Genesis Bryant. She's been the hot hand from three for Illinois and they smartly guard her at that line. She'll go inside instead, circus shot too strong. But fight for it inside. And a foul called on Sydney Parrish. Lots of tussling in the interior there, but Brinshoop Hill coming up with it. That is huge for the Illini uh, after Genesis Bryant. Tried to hit a circus shot layup. Shoop Hill giving the Illini another chance to possibly make this a 10 point game. Hopefully just trying to cut into this lead a little bit more for the Illini. Three fouls for Indiana, none for Illinois in this quarter. It's been much cleaner play, that's for sure. The free throw line may be a factor as Bryant can't hit that. That shot just seemed too forced to me. I mean, it seemed like Genesis Bryant felt like she had to shoot that. They didn't have any time to use the possession. It seemed like that's probably not the shot the Illini wanted there. And now Grace Berger slowing down the pace. And McKenzie will get charged with her third. So the first on Illinois in, in this quarter. And again, if you're Indiana, that gives you more time on the shot clock. Slow down the possession. Time is your friend. Sarah Scalia with it now, trying to drive in on Bryant, back to Berger, and she will do the same. Shot clock down to single digits at six. And an offensive foul is called on the inside. Yeah. It's a push off assigned to Lily Meister. So now four for the Hoosiers with that's, five minutes, 40 seconds left. That's absolutely the right call. Meister was moving there on the screen. Had no chance to get around it, did the Illini. Right call by the officials there. So and now the Indiana's Illini. gone cold a bit as of late, and can Illinois cash in on that? That's the million dollar question. Makaira Cook calling off the screen from Bostic. She's trying to find Genesis Bryant, she does. Bryant's crowded inside the lane, but that leaves the player wide open, and it's Bostic. Another stop here is vital for the Illini. They gotta get the ball back. They said they got it. And they're getting Bostic involved in other ways, getting the bigs involved. Bostic near the double-double, 13 points, nine rebounds. And Illinois, one bucket away from getting this back into single digits. Halfway down here in the fourth. Looking for an answer. Bryant with it now. Shoop Hill, that's been her spot as of late, and she hits! Whoa, ho, ho. all of a sudden we got an eight-point game. Brent Shoop Hill. Delivers their second three of the night at the perfect time, George. And Indiana, not going to call a timeout, going to let it play, but State Farm Center's getting loud. Illinois not going gentle into the good night. And now if you're Indiana, they've put up the best run of the game. Now how do you respond? You do it with Mackenzie Holmes, but she can't hit. And now back the other way. Bryant. Bostic going inside. Bryant take it herself, but a foul called on Mackenzie Holmes. That's her fourth, and she too is in disbelief. 
Wow, the Illini on an 8-0 run to cut this to an only an eight-point game. Indiana calls a timeout now, and Genesis Bryant getting the crowd going. Ken Obasi getting the crowd going. This could be a good finish here with just under 4.30 to play. An 8 nothing run for Illinois. They're going to keep doing what they've been doing over that time, getting Kendall Bostic involved in other ways. A little bit of an increased physical play without fouling against Indiana has seemed to have made the difference. The Hoosiers still getting some decent looks, but being unable to convert. And we've talked about how Indiana can draw multiple eyes. Well, now it's Illinois doing that in multiple ways. First on the Bostic layup, and then the wide open three from Bryn Shoup Hill. Well, those are just the opportunities the Illini need to find. I mean, they found Bryn Shoup Hill in her spot, like you said, and she drilled it. I mean, Coach Green said that Bryn Shoup Hill was confident coming into this one, that she had a different mindset coming into this one, almost like she was too dubious of her thinking about it. And Bryn Shoup Hill has delivered two huge shots in this game. Just like that, the Illini are only down eight, and there's still plenty of time left in this basketball game, George. She's been playing with an increased moxie that, as you said, even as her coach, doubting some of the shots she's taken. So now if you're Terry Morin, what do you do? Do you try and do what has worked this whole game in terms of getting Holmes involved inside? Do you target Bostic, try and take her out of the game? With how hot Bostic's been, George, you absolutely have to keep working Holmes. You have to. I mean, Mackenzie Holmes has been the answer in this game. She still has 27 points at this point. Bostic and, and Holmes both have four fouls. I think it's going to come down to whoever fouls out first at this point because all of a sudden, Bostic's been back in with four, and ever since she's back in, been back in, Holmes has gotten two more to get to four herself. So... If they can get Holmes out of the game, the Illini, they might be in business, but the Hoosiers will win this one if, if Bostic fouls out. So that interior play down low is going to be the deciding factor in these final four and a half minutes. Bryant has four, Bostic has three, alongside McKenzie Parrish and Holmes, both with four for the Hoosiers. And we have an update from East Lansing, and that is that Iowa has held on in overtime, winning by three. Caitlin Clark with 26. She's having kind of a down game in regulation. She managed to turn it on when the team needed her most. And so the Hawkeyes have held on, and that means if Illinois can pull it out, they'll instead move to third in the standings rather than second. Genesis Bryan unable to convert there. Oh, that is a free throw you have to make here, Genesis Bryant. you got to get that one in. Five fouls now in this quarter for the Hoosiers, so that means the rest of the way it will be free throws for Illinois. Four minutes, 20 seconds left. It's a seven-point game and a 9 nothing run for Illinois. Who do you target now if you're Indiana? Who do you try and get involved? Get it back to 34. Illinois crowding them when they try and go on the drive. Inside now to Holmes. She gets it. A much needed response and the foul. Wow. I mean, get it to either 34 or 54. That's kind of been the theme here. I mean, right when you need it most, Indiana, they find Mackenzie Holmes, and she has the chance to make it a 10 point game just like that and shut this crowd up. You called it. Go to what has worked for them the entire game. Your best player in Mackenzie Holmes. She's now two points away from her career record of 32. She sure is. She's been the workhorse tonight. So now Illinois needs a response. Back up to 10. Genesis Bryant trying to go inside, unable to hit it. Shoe pill in the right place at the right time. Bryant also a good job on the rebound. Makaira Cook back the other way, and she gets her first points in quite a while. Very nice use of the left there by Makaira Cook. The Illini needed that one, so we'll see if they can get a stop here again. It's crucial. Can't let Indiana score here. Stops have been what's guiding them through this whole quarter so far. Only more McNeil trying to post up on Bryant. What a play there. Bryant's out of the game, and more McNeil answering the call for the Hoosiers. Wow, that just kind of feels like what's going to put this game away. It's just such a backbreaker, back-to-back -back and ones for Indiana. And Genesis Bryant 
exit the game after scoring 18 points. So Illinois' leading scorer is done for the night. That is just, that is hard for the Illini to handle. And on the other side, Chloe Moore McNeil, she's been quiet this whole game, but that's sort of how she plays, silent but deadly. There are times when she's been clutched. There are times when she's gone off in games. I can remember the Purdue game last year, last season, in West Lafayette, where Indiana was able to pull away. She's been the sort of unofficial sixth man for this team, particularly during Grace Berger's absence earlier this season, and now she's coming up in the clutch. She played pretty well in that December 4th matchup, too. Illinois looking for an answer. They get one with Adalia McKenzie. Just flirting with time here, running out for Illinois. It just feels like too little too late at this point, George. I mean, we'll see if they can get a stop here, but if, if Indiana gets a basket, that really feels like it could be what puts it away here. Well, nine points, but inside of three minutes. They go again inside to Holmes. She gets doubled. Bostic and Jada Peebles. Indiana has to reset. Five on the shot clock. Berger on Makaira Cook. Does not go. Fight for it. Pulled away by Mackenzie Holmes. Saving a possession and killing at least 20 more seconds. Wow. I mean, that's just Indiana's size coming into play there. Mackenzie had it, but then the other Mackenzie pulls it away, and Holmes gets a huge rebound for the Hoosiers. Those are the plays that save games when you think about it. I think you nailed it right in the head there, because now there's under, only just under 2.30 left to play, and the Hoosiers are going to send Grace Berg to the free throw line here. It is... Time is just ticking down every second, every, every possession. Indiana, again, had a stranglehold on this game up till about midway through the third quarter. And then Illinois goes on a little run. They respond. Illinois goes on a bigger run. They respond with more authority. That cycle repeats itself two or three times until Illinois puts on their biggest run, a 9-0 one, where they get it to within single digits. And now Indiana responding with some big and ones to take Illinois' clutch players out of the game. 